morning. In the previous sessions, I have just covered the problems wherein we would have known the true length and true inclinations. Then we would have found out the final projections. That is, we would have found out a dash b dash front view and a b top. Now we can also have a problem such that given the projections and then determination of the true length and true inclinations with H P and V P. That is, we know the final projections. Knowing the final projections, how to determine the true length as well as the true inclination. So that's what I am going to do in uh, today's session. Now you can just see that this particular one I can determine just by reversing the process. And not only that, we have one rule which I would have told you earlier also. That is, when a line is parallel to a particular plane, then always we know that in that particular plane, we see the true length. Not only true length, we will also see the true inclination with the other plane. So if we just use that particular golden rule, where always it is possible for us to determine the true length and true inclinations. Let us take an example. So, in this particular example, so what we do is, we know the ends, that is, we know the position of, let us say, end A as well as end B with reference to both HP and VP. So, once I know that means, I can just draw the figure such that the projections has been given. Once we know that, then I will explain to you how to determine the true length and true inclination. Okay, now let us see that. Let us say we have NDA. So let us say for NDA, it is given that, let us say 20 mm in front of VP and let us say 40 mm above HP. Okay, now similarly let us say we know this NB also. Okay, so let us say NB is let us let me give this as 40 mm in front of BP and let us say 80. I am just taking random B above the HP. So these are the details given to me. Now, since I know these details, I can draw the locus points both in the front view as well as in the top view. Let me just do that. So draw this x y line. XY. Now let us indicate the locus lines for the NDA. So NDA is 20 mm in front of VP. That means say that its top view point will be 20 mm below XY. Right? So let me draw that. So we'll just draw a line like this. Always remember these are all locus lines. Locus lines has to be as thin as possible. So this is locus of what? I said this locus of A. Then this particular N is 40 mm above HP. So I can just indicate that also. So let me indicate this again a light line. So this I will consider it as locus of A dash. Now let me indicate the loci for this end B both in top and front view. Now it is given that 40 mm in front of VP. But to say that this particular end B will be 40 mm below xy line. So let me do that also. So I will just draw again the locus line. Locus of B. Then it is 80 mm above HP. So let me indicate that. So I will just let us say consider this is my or the locus for B dash. Now, with the given data, I am just able to draw the locus lines. Now, if you want to do the problem, I need to give one more data. Entity. Let us say that I have given that the distance between the end projectors is 70 mm. So, I should know what is an end projector. Now, already we know that whenever we draw the projection of point A, I will get A dash and A. And anyway, the other end is B. So, for NP also, we are able to determine or we are able to get the projector through B dash and B. And already we know that 
the projectors of a particular point should have the same projector. If I say end projector, so what do we end projector? The end projector means the distance between the projector A to the projector B when I measure parallel to XY line. So that's what we mean by end projector. Now let us say I give the end projector. Let us say I give the end projector as 80 mm. Then what you do then? Let me draw a line like this. Let us consider this line represents the projector for A. Okay, now since the projector for A, anyway we know the locus of A dash. So that this becomes what then? This becomes A dash. Similarly, your A should be below this A dash. So anyway, I can just indicate this as A then. Now I told you that the distance between the end projectors is 80 mm. Then what you do then? The projector B should be at a distance of 80 mm from projector which was drawn through this A which is should be parallel to x, y, right? So let me write that also. So I'll just indicate this another line. Okay. Now we will get P dash because anyway locus of P dash is here. So this is a projector so that this will be P dash. Similarly, below P dash, I should be the top view part of the point B wherein we have the locus here. So let me consider this as P now. Okay. Now what I should do now? Now as you can see, we have A dash and B dash. So what do we mean by A dash and B dash? If I join this, if I join A dash and B dash, this means that this is the projection of the line AB. So let me do that. Similarly, now we can see that we have just given the data to draw the final projections, that is given projections. So projections are given as A dash, B dash and A and B. Now with this given data, I need to determine the true length and true inclination. How do we do it? I told you that golden rule. So what is the golden rule I said? I told you that whenever a line is parallel to a particular plane, then on that particular plane, we see the true length and that particular line makes an angle with reference to other plane or if you want more clarity so let me just uh, recollect so what is that we have done ok now as you can see when a line is parallel xy line in the top view in this particular case we can see through because anyway you can see this the line is inclined to hp now now since the line is inclined to hp its projected length which we are going to see in the top view should be foreshortened length that is ltv ok this is ltv ltl here is l length and tl that means say that when I want to determine the true length and true inclination, I need to rotate the line such that that particular line will become parallel to x, y. Now let us use the same procedure to determine the true length and true inclination in this particular figure. Okay, now as you can see in this particular figure, if I consider this angle, so what are these angles here? What are these angles? As you can see, these angles, because this is the apparent length, or this is nothing but your LFV na, this is LFV and this is your LTV. Always remember the LFV makes an angle, since this is an apparent length, this angle has to be an apparent angle. So what is the apparent angle? It is alpha here. Here the apparent angle is beta. Now, if I use this same analogy, that would say that if I rotate a line in a particular view, in the other view, I will get the true length. Okay, now let us do that. Now let us say that I want to make this NFV parallel to XY line. I have just made this parallel to XY line like this. Okay, so that means that I am fixing this A and rotating this B. Okay, so since I rotated this, I will consider this as let us say some B2. Is it okay? Now since I rotated this line, this particular line AB2, now it is parallel to XY line. Since it is parallel to XY line, I need to draw the corresponding projector here so that I am going to get the true length in the top view. Now again see this. Since I have rotated with A, this A position will not change. So A will be here only. But what about this point B? Since I have rotated this point B in the top view, this point B will move along the locus of B. Then what I should do then? Since it moves on the locus of B, I need to draw a projector. So let me draw a projector through this. So that this will be B2. And if I join this, if 
deeper join this. What is this then? Now we can see, since I made this line parallel to XR line, in the other view, I see the true length. So this is true length. And remember, what about this angle now? Remember, always along with the true length, always it is accompanied by true angle. So what is the angle here? Phi. You can just see this. Now, phi is less than theta. Because anyway, theta is apparent length now. I mean, apparent angle. Similarly, as you can see in this case, I have rotated with the end B. Need not be. You can also fix B. And I can rotate A. The only thing what I should do is, this particular LFV, I need to make it parallel to X, Y line. So either I can rotate with A or I can rotate with B. You will get the same solution. But anyway, now as you can see, by doing this, I am able to determine the true length and inclination with VB. But also I wanted the inclination with HP. Then what do you do then? If I want to determine with reference to HP, I need to make this particular line parallel to VP. So that's what I'm going to do now. That means that I am going to rotate this LTV. So if I rotate this LTV, let us say I'm going to rotate like this. Again, let us say I'm fixing A and rotating this B. Okay, so let me call it as some B3. Now I need to draw the projections of this or I need to show this in the front view. So what about in the front view now? Same thing what I have said earlier. Yeah. I am rotating this particular AB with reference to A. A is fixed, B is moving. So in the front view also, A is fixed and B will move. How the B will move there? B will move along the locus. So again I am going to draw the projector through this. So that this point will be I return as B3, then this becomes what then? B3 dash. And if I join this, what do you get this line? Since I have made this parallel, I can get the TL. So this is the TL. And what about this angle now? Remember, always along with TL, we have the true inclination. And true inclination HP is given by theta. Okay? And again, just see this, if you have done the problem right there. So what is the check I will do? Anyway, we have two TLs now. So if you have done that, because you cannot get two TLs, because only one line. So what you should uh, check? I should check that this TL should be equal to this TL. We have only one TL. Okay. So the golden rule what I said is, when a line is parallel to XY line, in that particular plane, I will get the true length, I will get the inclination with the other plane. So what I did here, I made this LTV parallel to XY line, that is in the top view. That is, I am making this line parallel to VP. Remember, whatever you do in the top view, always you have the VP details. Now since I made this thing parallel means what? I am making it parallel to VP. So if I make it parallel to VP, where do you expect that uh, true length to be seen? In the front view. So I am going to get the True length in the front view, that is this particular length, but this angle theta. That is this angle with reference to other plane. What is other plane here? It is HP. That's the reason I said that by making this HTV parallel to X1 line, that is making this line parallel to VP, we can get the true length in the front view, whereas the inclination with the other plane, that is, I am going to get theta. Is it okay? Thank you. Okay, as you observed in this particular problem, I have given all the loci points or the ends, both A and B, then I have given the end projected distance. Instead of this, after giving these locus points, I can also say that instead of giving the end projected distance, let us say I have given the true length of the line is 80 mm. Then what do you do then? Instead of taking this end projector as 80, I will take, I will start from this TL itself. So that would say that I will take first this TL. So I am going to, anyway we have the locus now, so I am going to get this TL. So once I get this TL, I am going to get this angle theta. Okay, now we use the same procedure. That is, since this is TL, in the other view what I will get? I will get the LTV. Since after moving LTV, I know this locus of A and B. I am going to put it between those two, so that I am going to get the final top view. Anyway, A and I see projector, anyway we have B. Then draw the projector through that so that I am going to get B dash then. So that I am going to get A dash B dash also. 
Is it okay? So as you can see, I can give the data in any fashion, but always remember any problem in lines. We need to determine these locus points, I need to determine the LTV LF. That is, if I know these six parameters, I can do any problem having any hundreds of combinations. Okay, thank you.